Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm back, finally, right? <laughs> Sorry I haven't done a video in a long time. But this video I really want to do because it's going to be about something very, very fun and exciting. This video is going to be my review of the newest trailer for Star Wars Episode Seven. Yeah, um, I can't wait to talk about this with you guys. Oh, I love this trailer so much. Um, but I'm going to tell you why. Alright? So let's get started on that. Okay, so the trailer starts with this very eerie tone. You see a panning shot of the desert planet we saw from the first trailer. And it pans to the right. And you see this huge crashed Star Destroyer in the background. Which looks just like a concept art image that was leaked last year. And it turns out that this desert planet is not Tatooine, but in fact, another desert planet called Jakku. This was confirmed by J.J. Abrams at Star Wars Celebration. And then the trailer fades to black, and you hear Luke's voice from Return of the Jedi when he says, The Force is strong in my family. My father has it. And then the next shot is of Darth Vader's burnt helmet from Return of the Jedi. And it looks so awesome. But I'm kind of curious as to how it survived the fire on Endor, and also why it's on a pedestal. Maybe like, the new Empire worships it? I don't know. But the funny thing is, it looks just like this leaked concept art image from last year, and I'm guessing that's Kylo holding the helmet without his mask. And then the voiceover continues, and the next shot is of R2-D2 and a hooded figure sitting in front of a campfire, and a I think the cloaked figure is possibly Luke, considering he has a robotic right hand, and we all know that in Empire Strikes Back, Vader cut off his right hand, and he had it replaced with a robotic one, but it doesn't look the same as it did before. Hmm. And then this was the point in the trailer where I actually started to cry, because you see Luke's old lightsaber from Empire Strikes Back that he lost in Cloud City. And it looks like some alien creature is handing it to another character. Now, when I first saw the trailer, I thought the alien was handing it to Finn, you know, John Boyega's character. But the hand actually looks more female, so it could be Leia or Rey. And after that, the music swells up, and we get a new shot of the X-Wings flying over the water. Same location as the first trailer. And then we get a new shot of Oscar Isaac's character, Poe Dameron, in the cockpit of his X-Wing. And he's screaming with joy. He's just like, "Woohoo!" And then we get a new shot of the villain, Kylo Ren, with his awesome crossguard lightsaber, swinging it at somebody. Then we get a shot of Rey, Finn, and BB-8 running away from an explosion as the TIE Fighter is chasing them. And then this is probably one of my top five favorite shots from the trailer. You get a really good look at Kylo Ren. He turns around and sticks his hand out like he's using the force. And it looks like the cross guard on his saber isn't lit up. So I guess it can turn on and off, which is pretty cool. And what's funny is, this shot of him looks exactly how he looked in the leaked picture of him from uh, last year. And then you get this really impressive wide shot of all the new stormtroopers standing in front of this huge red banner that I guess has the Empire's new symbol on it. And it looks like something out of World War II. <clears throat> it's really awesome. But the next shot is probably the most mysterious shot in the trailer because it shows a TIE fighter attacking stormtroopers, which is pretty weird because... You know, TIE Fighters are used by Stormtroopers, you know, used by the Empire. But then again, some good guy might be piloting it. Um, it might be Finn or Poe Dameron, like I've heard. I don't know. And then we get a new shot of Finn in his Stormtrooper outfit, which I guess confirms the fact that he is a Stormtrooper. Um, and he looks really freaked out. But what's funny is, at Star Wars Celebration... He kind of admitted to the fact that he was a stormtrooper, and J.J. Abrams like hit him, and he was just like, "Dude, don't say anything about that." Then we see a star destroyer with a bunch of shuttles flying towards it, 
And then we get a shot of this awesome looking stormtrooper in chrome with a cape on walking down a hallway. Which looks just like the leaked concept art image of it from last year. And this might be Gwendolyn Christie's character I heard. Then we see BB-8 peeking around a corner in a hallway of the Millennium Falcon. Then we see Rey helping Finn up off the ground. Then we see a shot of the new TIE fighter pilot with his really awesome looking mask with red stripes on it as it's chasing uh, the Millennium Falcon. Then we see the Falcon flying inside the wreckage of a ship, just like it did in the second Star Destroyer at the end of uh, Return of the Jedi. Whew! And then comes the shot of the trailer that I'm pretty sure every single fanboy pissed their pants over. And it is a shot of Han and Chewie inside the Falcon. And Han says, Chewie, we're home. And then that's it. Oh my god. Best shot of the entire trailer. And it looks just like the concept art image of them. Okay, there you have it. That was my review of the greatest movie trailer since the third Dark Knight Rises trailer. This trailer literally gave me everything I wanted. It gave me shots of the original cast and also... All new footage, which I really love because I hate when movie trailers recycle footage from the previous trailer. But anyway, I'm so looking forward to this movie. See ya.